Good evening, everyone. My name is Dave, and I'm here to share with you I got a brand new iPhone. Now, first things first. The reason why I chose an iPhone over an Android is plain and simple, in the sense that while an Android is cheaper, the operating systems are so vastly different between both manufacturer and version of each phone. For example, let's say you went with a Samsung Galaxy, each Galaxy version has a different operating system and it just comes with a different learning curve for each one. So, because Apple is standardized, whatever you want, you want to say about how much they cost or this or the other thing, the simplicity of the fact that they all have the same operating system reduces the learning curve and creates ease of use. You know where to find something after you've done it for a while. You don't have to relearn it with each new version. Now, I went with an iPhone 8, which I will show you momentarily, over the iPhone 10 or the newest versions that just got released today. Now, I, w I got this phone, ordered it last Friday, and it just arrived today. Why I didn't wait for the new phones to come in is because I refused to pay over $1,000 for a mini com personal computer, which is essentially what these things are. Now, I also took a look at both the 8 and the 10, and the difference in cost was about $200. I, and I took a look spec for spec on what you get with both versions and determined that the features or the little added extra you're getting for the 10 were not worth $200 extra in my book. So, I went with the 8. Having said that, I'm also coming from an iPhone 6. So this thing is four and a half years old, and I was, I'm was very, very happy with it. It's an awesome phone. It's everything I need to do. Let's have low disk space, sure. But everything I do is on the cloud anyway, so I really wasn't using the disk space on it in the first place. And I would probably still be using it if it wasn't for the fact that the age and the operating system updates have caused this thing to start to freeze and crash and have all kinds of technical problems with it, which is forcing me to go to the new 8. So hopefully this will last me a few more years. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. So having said all that, I'll uh, also give you a little bit of background as to why I'm going to all these technical details. Uh, my trade is as a computer engineer. So I'm all about the technical specifications and justifying costs for everything I do. So I should probably should start with that, but now I see you here nor there. Now, I normally would have probably gotten my uh, screen protector and case on Amazon because you really just can't beat the rates, the return policy, and the ease of use of Amazon, hence the reason why they're a multi-billion dollar company. But when I called at and to get the phone, they said, if you get it through us, we'll give it to you for free. You just pay the shipping handling. And I'm like, all right, you know what? I would have gotten free shipping handling from Amazon, but you can't beat two bucks for this over what I would have paid, like what, 15 bucks maybe for a case and protector on Amazon. So they twisted my arm. I said, all right, fine, you can send me these. I don't necessarily necessarily know how good this case is yet. I haven't opened it up yet, but I do know that the case that comes with my six is a simple hard rubber plastic. There's no fancy gimmicks, no latches or levers. It's just a beautiful in and off. And the hard rubber case, I have dropped this thing thousands of times over the last four years. And yet my phone is still in pristine condition, excellent shape, never have to worry about it. So uh, that this is from a Pelican brand case. We'll see how the new versions of Pelican work out. We shall see. Anyway, so let's go ahead and show you what this case looks like. Now, it's nice, it comes with a little belt clip. I got a uh, leather base belt clip for the iPhone 6, but I started carrying it in my pocket because it fell apart and it's just not worth trying to replace these all the time, they, every time they break. However, this is a nice plastic one, it goes on the belt. So we'll see how well that works out. Um, this thing off the bat already has uh, snippets in here. See, okay, came across fairly easily, no big deal, so. We'll give it a shot. We'll see how that goes. Um, but before I do anything with the case, you always, always, always need to put have protection for your your phones because these things are traveling everywhere with you. And the last thing you want to deal with 
it's having to get a repair on these things. So you also don't want a whole lot of fingerprints and other problems to smudge the front of your cover. So I also got this front protector as well. Do not have that on the original phone, um, but figured wouldn't hurt to do this on the new one. So this is supposed to be a uh, glass protector here. And it does have that here. It also has, looks like a uh, case built into it too. So we shall see what this looks like when I get this open. Okay. So what we're looking at here is indeed what looks like some degree of a our case there. I am. Um, to an outer liner, apparently. The actual uh, protective front piece is this here, which I will wash my hands for first. Um, gotta have clean hands. Cleanliness is next to godliness. And the last thing you want is some dirt to get in between the cover and the phone. So, if you kind of that one. All right, so let's reveal the new iPhone 8. Not the Plus. The standard, okay? Because while the Plus is a bigger screen, which is certainly nice for watching video or something of that nature, the simple fact of being able to hold the phone in one hand and do something else with the other, in my book, is worth its weight in gold. So if I really want a bigger screen, I would just go get myself a tablet or an iPad or something like that, which we actually have in this house somewhere. But uh, I digress. For mobility purposes, an iPhone standard is good enough for me. Okay. Long at last. Voila! iPhone 8. I know, I know. A dark case. That's so special, right? <laughs> you gotta have a little bit of fun, especially when you're getting something new. New toys, new fun, new play. Okay. So. Now, the one thing that Apple did with the newer versions of phones, well, see how on the 6 you have an audio jack here. Well, in order to get more into the newer versions of phones, they determined that the space inside the phone where the audio jack uh, resides takes up a nice chunk of circuit board space. So by removing the circuit board space, they now have so much more room to put additional computing power, memory, camera, whatever it is they decide to put in there to make the seven better than the six. And staying with that tradition, when they made the eight over the seven, they weren't about to revert back to the audio jack and lose all that space that they found so valuable with the seven. So, all new versions after the 6 do not have the audio jack. However, who doesn't use Bluetooth anymore anyway? I do, you do, so you're not really gonna miss the audio jack too much. I don't even have any audio-based headphones anyway, so it's a moot point. Now, before I get into removing the plastic here, that is going to remove the protective shielding over the front. And as I mentioned before, cleanliness. So, I need to go and wash my hands and be prepared to put on the protective case. Oh, and uh, just to furthermore on the audio jack there. For those who still want to be able to plug into the audio jack, they do come with an adapter. You can plug into the power here and play the audio here. Now, the about disadvantage here is the fact that you cannot charge the phone while using this. Hence, you go to Bluetooth so you can still plug in this, but they do give you that option if you want it. And it does come with your typical uh, plug-in headphone pieces that I never use because these things fall out too easily anyway. I have just a straight up uh, Bluetooth that I use for that. So. Having covered all the introductory information about 
my choice to get this particular phone, as well as the stuff that comes with it. Shall we proceed to wash our hands and install? Now, I could plug it in right now and go start going through the setup. However, that's going to require usage of the screen. Therefore, before we even get into that, let's go ahead and wash up and prepare to put this on, shall we? Okay. And we're back. Nice, clean hands, strip and wear, paper towels, all good. So now, even though I will still produce fingerprints and smudges, it will be, I won't have all that grime and dirt from all throughout the day, okay? So, the instructions are here, okay? Step one, two, and three, which I'll go through with you. Uh, the brand of this, which I, I've used these protectors and different brands uh, work all the time. I haven't used this particular brand, but they're all more or less the same thing. This one happens to be Bodyguards. I don't give any endorsement recommendation for Bodyguards. It's just the one that was avail provided to me by uh, my phone carrier. And this is actually for the 10, but it should fit this one just fine anyway. No big deal. Yeah, if you ever saw a uh, Big Bang Theory in the earlier seasons, they have uh, one of the actors gets a new iPhone five or four or whatever it is, and they had this like geeky moment where they're pulling off the uh, plastic and pretending to have uh, a techy orgasm over it, and I thought it was hilarious. You should uh, watch the episode. It's not inappropriate or anything like that it's funny it's humorous it's it's funny it's a great show and i'm gonna miss them when they go off the air okay so there's our plastic okay so This says peel off to expose adhesive. So that tells me, based upon the wording, that the side I just peeled off is the side that's supposed to go onto the phone here. Which would make sense because you got a tablet up here, a tab here, so you can center this thing just right around the phone here. Now what's interesting here is the fact that this case does not fit properly this phone and I think part of that is because the 10 has a different screen size and on this one it uh, covers the uh, camera and the voice piece there and on the edges it appears over the side here uh, I may need to get that replaced so let's see how that goes before I undo the other half I'm going to see how well that fits into here actually you know what I'm not even gonna bother because this protective case here looks like it is the right side it has the speaker hole here the camera hole here and it has the uh, sticker so I'm gonna try that instead. I'm gonna remove this plastic here. It's already partially stuck to the screen. Okay. And we're gonna go with the plastic that came with the proper case. This sticker will help to remove the mask for the screen. Okay, so this one. Okay, so it sounds like these both do the same thing, so I'll just take off one side. Here. And prepare to put this alignment on here. Yes, this is definitely 
proper fit. Not, doesn't seem to be sticking properly though. Yeah, this is not the right side here. No big deal, we have another side. We'll just try this one then. Except that it doesn't align properly, so whatever. No deal. There. Put this case on here. Okay. I can't see myself staying with this case. I don't like the effort it takes to put this on and off. The other one, like I said, slides on and off, no problem. This one has all these components to it and snaps and look, it's not even going in properly. So I'm probably gonna end up replacing this with something else. However, until I do so, this will be sufficient for our immediate needs here. Okay. For the purposes of getting this phone Activated and in service, this will get be fine for the time being. Okay. Okay. Yeah, th this hard. I mean, some people may like this style hard case. That's fine. Good. Enjoy it if you do. Uh, I'm a much simpler person. I don't want to have to think about how to pull it off. I just want it to work. So that's why I like the simplicity of this case here. But, okay, so the case is on. This is the new Cal Pelican version. I'm probably not gonna stay with this, but for today's purposes, it'll do just fine. All right, let's go ahead and have the revealing moment of powering it on and going through transferring from phone one to phone two. I normally, brand new phones go through step as a new phone, get a new Apple ID and all that jazz, but like anybody else who has used their phone for virtually everything in their lives, you have a ton of data, like your contacts, your pictures, your notes, all that jazz. So uh, you want that to come over with you, and so we're going to do that. It's, at some point, this is going to require me to call the uh, internet service provider, or I should say the cell phone provider, to um, activate. That's how they know you have the new phone and can move the registration over. See now, here we go. I just press the one button. Again, it says select your country on this side, here. And then on the old phone, it instantly picks up on the fact that you're setting up a new phone and it prompts you to continue here, okay? Now, before I even started today's filming, I did an iCloud backup from the old phone because though I did my wife's phone upgrade. See, just kind of see if I put the circle over there. When I did her phone upgrade, it took a while for the data backup to complete. And so, figured, okay, if that's going to take a while, then let's go ahead and just get that done first. Um, it says here, finishing on a new phone. It's going to take a few minutes. Okay, so it's processing. It's doing its thing. Okay, great. Take it in privacy, continue. Touch later. Don't use touch ID. I can pick that up later, I'm not worried about it. Do a temporary passcode just to get through this, just use it anyway. You can, honestly, just to get the phone started, unless you have something in mind you want to use, you can just throw in four, six zeros or six ones or one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, anything simple just to get you through the activation period here. Um, like I said, unless you have something you already want to use, um, feel free to use that. You don't have to reset it up later, but if you are not used to using these things, then you can just throw it up temporarily and remove it later. Okay, so 
use backup before restoring. Even though I ran them back up and it's current, I always do use backup before restoring. That way, yes, it does initiate a backup, but it'll be a lot quicker. My editor-in-chief is commenting, but I don't really read, read lips any better than I read her mind, so. <laughs> <laughs> Terms and conditions here. Settings and backup, okay. I pay, set up later on wallet. I always like to go with bare minimum necessary to get the phone operational because I can always go through and customize it later. Here's Surrey set up. Hey Surrey. Yay. Picked up with me right away. Awesome. Hey Surrey. Picked up with me right away. Awesome. Yay. I love it when things work. Hey Surrey. Hey Surrey, how's the weather today? Hey Surrey, it's me. Just reading it right off the phone. Hey Surrey, it's ready. Yay! Share with app developers. Um, you know what? If they can make a better phone in the future, go for it. True tone display, I always say go ahead and do it. I can always turn off later if I don't like it. It's in the settings. A lot of times I just use the default settings for this stuff because it gets you through the activation initial setup quicker and you can always go in into the settings and play with them all day long if you want. It gets the job done here. So now we are preparing to download onto this phone everything from the old phone as it's running here. <laughs> so now I am just more or less standing by until this finishes. Now there is, the old phone has 12 gig memory capacity and the majority of that was used. So this could probably take more than a few minutes to finish. But the backup ran kind of quickly, so you never know. You never know. I've seen these backups take quite a while. Okay. So, let's go ahead and push, get rid of our trash. Okay. This is the godliness. Thank you everyone for joining me. It was a great pleasure to share with you the new iPhone 8, share with you why I used it, why I chose it, and to go through the initial setup process with you. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below, and I'll be happy to get back to you and answer any questions you have regarding the phones, the process, or even a tangent of any other nature. Feel free to let me know. Uh, have a great night. Thank you very much for watching.